and welcome back everyone. As always, I am Scorp Poison. Welcome to Astroneer. I will be starting the stream here in just a little bit. I have got to get everything set up. But I know you wanted to know it was coming. So here we go. Um, boing, alright, we're in there, everything is OBK. <coughs> and we're just starting the game up and, <coughs> excuse me, <laughs> my cough, my Zen cough has not gone away. Alright, we are going to... See if I can load this before I... Okay, that's loading up. And... Okay. Start it. Oh, there we go. Looks like everything is functioning. So, here is um, our new base. And actually, okay, so what are we doing here? <laughs> oh, and this is our lovely grab call. I just love that. I, I, I love that. That, uh, I don't know if you realize how big, <laughs> how big of a deal that is that it can grab research and auto-feed it. I do apologize. Um, I just have to answer this message. I apologize. This is from my sister. So, but um, what I was saying about this and how important that is is that it means continuous research. Even if it's just a small amount, it means that while I'm on other planets moving around, this is researching. And that is, that, and that just means our research is just going to keep going. And that is so amazing, I might try to find another bush, make an auto arm, and then put, you know, something right there. I just love that, that it can do that. Look at that, that's just amazing. So, Whoops, this is the wrong keyboard. <laughs> I have uh, two computers and two keyboards. So. Alright. I want to, you know what I want to do? I want to make a space for everything we're going to initially need. So I want to do that ahead of time instead of waiting. So I want to do this because over here is going to be... Let me check and see what it's going to be. Large printer. Oh, that's right. I need to make a large printer. Why don't I make... Why don't I make that first? I was wondering if it had some sort of, you know, mission and I didn't want to print a large printer, oh doggone it, sort of situation, but we're just going to do this, and then um, we are actually going to have that print 
Even if it goes slow. Um, Alright, I've got containers, and I might actually... Um, I'm gonna take... Let's see. I can make just enough for two more of those. But, let's see how many I need to make. Large printer. Smelting furnace already has soil centipede. We have a chemistry lab and an atmospheric condenser. Um, we have a trade platform and a shredder of some some kind. So that's four. I want to make five of these because I want to actually update our power to having a fifth one of these. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this resin and I'm going to make small canisters. I'm just going to make a bunch of these small canisters. And I'm just going to go down and I'm just going to fill, 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 fill. Oh, that's right. No power. Yeah, yeah. Look at it. Now, oh, can we actually do it around? All right. Okay, so I need five more. And I want to kind of do this on every planet that I can. So, trade platform, trade platform, shredder, atmospheric. Chemistry lab. Oh, and one for power. So, so I should really be writing some of this stuff down. <laughs> That's what I should be doing, is writing uh, some of this stuff down. So that, uh, you know, because I guess I'm going to be doing this a bunch. But, right now, we've got a backpack full of small canisters and some time to kill. Wow! Look at that. Oh, I forgot my tethers. Oh, I should have grabbed, uh... should have grabbed some compound. You know what? I'm gonna... I'm gonna do that awesome surfing thing here again. Because I'm gonna come up and get some... get some tethies. Pink and pink. Um, whoops. Was that tethers? Tethers. Here we go. Whoop ha! <laughs> All right. Get over here and grab a tether. power things. You find a lot of, um, you find a lot of, um, wreckage and things on, uh, the first, the first planet. Not so much on the others. Here, here's what we're gonna do, you know, what we're gonna do is get rid of all walls. Oh, no more walls anymore. Just gonna take all walls. Oh, you know what's neat? Look at that circle. Do you see how it's it's got the um, hash? Are those hash marks? That actually shows you how many soil canisters you've got and how full they all are. So you can see. Excuse me for eating. You can see that I've almost filled the first one and then as that circle fills that's actually the canisters getting full that's interesting i really like that function because this way i don't actually have to pay attention to my backpack if i didn't want to i can just keep digging and you know what we're gonna come over here say I want to be able to see everything.
what, our third time discussion about this, my good man? Poor woman. I can promise you this. Before I would ever actually play on a stream with you, you would need to change your ID. Anna, it's the fifth. <laughs> I'm glad you have a sense of humor about this, too. Because I would not feel comfortable streaming, especially on my server, on my Discord server, with a non-PG-type ID. No, your ID is not PG. I mean, it doesn't have lewd words, but it is in itself an unfortunate ID. <laughs> what is it, Fifi's? Oh, I told you what I'm going to tell you. I don't know why he doesn't like his cushion. Like, Cannon loves the cushion. But, but uh... What on earth? Hold on, I'm I'm actually going to dedicate some of the time on the stream that I'm playing Astroneer to figure out what on earth is wrong with this person in chat. <laughs> Hold on. You forgot the G, by the way, for... I don't understand what you're saying. Okay, I don't understand how that... Oh, and I can probably shut that off because he's gone now. I don't understand how that... Okay. Okay. Okay, so or there's a miscommunication. Here's the thing. Talking about... Eating babies, including babies, animals, is not what I would consider PG. So, I understand now what you're talking about, that you're not talking about eating human babies. However, I can promise you that some people, including myself, 
do not want to have an entire stream to remind them of people's eating habits when it comes to animals. And so, uh, a similar but, but not the same vein, we had a player on the server when they first introduced wolves in Minecraft. Um, and you could tame them. You could actually tame them. Somebody, um, on our server suggested having, like, um, you could pit your wolves against each other. And the player, uh, that I'm talking about was avidly against that because of the stigma of dog fighting. And that is something that I wholeheartedly understand and agree with. Um, I'm sorry, dude. Your ID is just not gonna cut it. I... Right now, Twitch does not have a way that I know of, or another streamer I asked. I know, but you're missing the point. <laughs> that player did not think that... Uh, I don't know how to, I don't know how to put it. people's, you know, people's sensitivities must be taken into. I don't like the thought of people eating baby animals. I don't. I don't like the thought of veal. I don't like the thought of any of that stuff. And you've got to take that into account when, um, or I should say, we have to take that into account, our server in particular. And if I want to make my streams part of that server, I need to... Yeah, I don't eat fish eggs and things like that. I don't. And it's for the same reason. I don't... You know... Yes, I know. I agree. That's gross. <laughs> that's, that's my point. That's, that's gross. Yeah, um, caviar. You're talking about caviar. Or you might actually be talking about baby fish. But in either case, that's gross, and I absolutely don't want to be reminded of it while I'm playing, and I most certainly don't want... Yeah, caviar. Um, and I, I certainly don't want the stream to be about that. <laughs> and so I, I'm sorry. I just... I mean, I apologize. That's just, uh, that just can't happen. I want to keep, I myself am, am sensitive to what people consume, and I, uh, I mean, some people might consider it whatever, but I myself am sensitive to what people consume. When people consume unnecessary things, in my eyes, it's like, no, I am not um, a vegan. Let me get that. I'm not a vegetarian. I'm not a vegan. I do eat, I eat pork. I eat beef. I eat um, chicken. Sometimes turkey, usually only Thanksgiving, just because I'm not fond of the taste of it. And then I will occasionally eat fish. However, I eat very specific things in those categories. Um, I will eat, like, ham, bacon, things like that. I will not eat veal. I will eat ground beef. I will eat steak. But I will not eat cow's head. There's... there, And the thing is, me personally, it's because I live in a country where we have everything, everything in an abundance. All right, I live in America, and we have an abundance of those meats. And so for me to eat something like caviar or octopus, or the, it, it's, it's disingenuous for me, whoops, it's disingenuous for me, in, in my own opinion, because it's, 
I, you know, I should just eat what I've got. I shouldn't go looking for weird things to consume. And so, um, you know, if, if you live in a country where you are forced to consume things that are considered, um, that, that I myself would consider outside the norm. So say you live in a country where you're forced to consume crickets or you have to, and I mean, you have to eat them. It's not that, oh, cricket delicacy. I want to see what it tastes like. I mean, like that's a food source. I totally understand that. I understand if you live in a country where where dog and cat is your food source, is your main protein. I understand that. I'm sorry for you, but I understand that. But I don't live in a country where I have to eat pickled pig's feet. And consequently, then eating pickles pig's feet to me is, or, or duck, or squirrel, or rabbit, like... There are whole farms where all we can, where we consume, we, we farm raise cattle, pigs, fish, things like that. And so to eat strange things, um, haggis, you know, and I understand it's a delicacy in some places depending on who you talk to. But for me, it's, it's disingenuous to start looking for weird things that I could consume when I can have a bologna sandwich instead of duck eggs. I can have, um, why did this take this back to the apple? You know, things like that. Name that come up when you type. I think so. Let me check. I think so. Yeah. Quote FOZ. FOZ stands for Fields of Zen. Um, that's, um, it's a server I founded, and it started as a Minecraft server. And it's um, meant to be a relaxing place where people can just come and play. And our... Um, play whatever in this case, but um, Minecraft is our main server still right now. But um, I've played on a lot of servers where you have overzealous... Um, administration, or you have, like... The main thing that comes to mind is, as I said, I've, I, I know I've talked about this before. I have a couple Swedish friends, and um, I have been on servers where the sign in the front of the server says, and I'm not even kidding you, speak English or be banned. And I just, I can't understand that. We've had... Um, We've had two people on my server that speak Hebrew, which, I'll tell you what, as a language, that is very difficult to, um, not translate. That's not the wrong word. That's the wrong word, but, uh, I can even if I want this for me. Yeah, you can change IDs once every six months, I think. Um, hold on, let me, let me look at this. Let me look at this, because it said that you could just change it once every six months. Let me, you may update your, okay, so yeah, um, if you want to, okay, let me be perfectly clear before you do this. Are you gone? Why am I suddenly... Why do I suddenly not see you in chat? Oh, I, oh, one week and then I can. Okay. Let me be perfectly clear. Before you do this, <laughs> I would be more than happy to play on you on a different... Or play with you on a different world. We would not be playing on this same world you see me. We would be starting over from scratch. And our stream would just be you and I when we play, when we can play. I have a bunch of real life things that I have to worry about doing. When you see me, I'm tired and I am ornery. <laughs> I am just got off of work most of the time. So just bear that in mind that, uh... I don't know if he's still in here. 
I'm taking a look at my other thing. Let me say use it in chat. I don't, I think, oh, yeah, okay. That's weird. It doesn't even show you in the chat. But just, uh, yeah, just keep in mind that we would be starting a new world and then we go from there. I don't mind, like, I don't mind how you play. Everyone's got a different play style and whatever, whatever. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm just, um, I'm just saying keep in mind. We wouldn't be, we wouldn't be playing, um, as frequently as I stream because I do like to stream single player, um, sometimes, but I don't mind, I don't mind playing multiplayer. Oh, okay, so as long as you have a small canister that has some soil in it, you bring up your, your, um, cursor, you hold down control, and then you select a surface by holding, by holding left click and it will go that angle so if I want to make it flat I have to find a flat surface if I picked this surface right here it would go at a slight angle all the way down because that angle slightly down you can see it and that's the same thing with here if I go for it whoop, there now I'm grabbing that angle and moving it now to flatten this out I grab a flat angle and then I just hold left like you normally do just like that yeah, it's fun. I was I was very glad that they uh, included it in in the. Their terraforming is some of the best. Um, their terraforming is is some of the best I've seen in any game, with as simple as it is. And here's another trick. When you have that um, cursor out, when you've got your terraforming tool, you can dig down. It's got the arrow down. But if you hit C, it will instead lift the ground. And then if you hit C again, it will keep it on the flatten tool so that you can flatten whatever you want to. But control is how I do it because control allows you to either lift or dig and it will interrupt that temporarily. The whole, the t long, um, as long as you're holding control, it will interrupt the up or the down. Ooh, that thing, look at that research go. I love it. I love it. I'll be getting 22 bytes pretty much for forever. One, two, three, four. Okay, so these are our four. And then uh, we will... We will... Uh, yeah. That didn't take nearly as much as I thought it would. <laughs> so you know what? I'm going to make two more for storage because I don't have any storage. I thought it'd take longer to make those. Look at all the soil I've got. Make a present. Yeah, I don't mind uh, I don't mind flying with you, but uh I don't know like why so why did you pick that idea? I don't understand. Like, I am. I, sometimes people don't actually have a reason for doing things they do, but. Like. If you're still in chat. My other question is did you have to put numbers at the end because there's that many other people named that? Or was that just you liked. You liked 12. The, the number 12. I am legitimately curious, by the way. I am not harassing you. It was a recommended name? What in the hell has this world got to where that is a recommended name? <sighs> that makes me sad. That makes me so sad. A recommended name. Okay. I'm going to dink. Oh, that's the batteries. 
Oh dear. <laughs> well, anyway. Anyway, yeah. That would be terrific if you wouldn't mind. Um. I, and see, Twitch, Twitch doesn't allow nicknaming. On our server, we we will give people nicknames if their name is considered inappropriate or not not PG, because our server is PG. Um, and I know there's there's a lot of discussion even even um, even today about that. But the fact of the matter is that after after I got a Minecraft server, okay, um, I'm just moving this over here so it's kind of out of the way of the landing pad, um, and we're not going to have to go into the, um, after I got a Minecraft server, I, and I realized the age range, actually, you know what, we can enter here so that it saves, exit, um, the age range ended up being so young that I recognized that we would have to, um, that we basically, we have to, um, be cautious. We have to be cautious with our server and on how we represent ourselves and et cetera, et cetera. And unfortunately, the only way to be properly cautious is to be PG. Um, PG-13 even blurs the line between what people can say and et cetera, et cetera. Um, but that's just, uh, that's just what, uh, that's my cross to bear, the case that's, you know, it's, it's led to a lot of really good things coming out of our server, and it's also led to a lot of um, discussions and arguments at times um, with um, even in the administration. What's considered too adult? What's considered, you know, not, um, not PG enough? What's considered, et cetera, et cetera? And so I don't feel like having that over there, actually. I think you're going to... I'm going to put you someplace else. Um, you know, we're going to flatten out over here, and this is where the uh, is recommended name. Wow, that's just, that just baffles me. It really does. You know, but I've seen some of the names, and I just, you know... You know, we all have our thing, and and we decided. I decided PG, but it also mainly because um, not not to be an inconvenience to anyone. Like that's not why I wanted it to be PG, but um, but so that everyone could join, everyone could join, everyone could feel like they found a place and so uh yeah and I, I don't know um yeah if you stream too what I told my other friend we should do is whenever we play together we both stream and that way people can see um people can see both sides so they can see um what I'm doing, and then they can actually go to your stream and see what you're doing. So they can see the two different play styles we have. Because I think I, I, um, I got that idea because, um, one of the people, well, actually, you know what, I'll do this. One of the people that, I was playing on the server. I just happened to be playing on the server. And one of the other people who was a streamer was streaming the server. And so I could actually watch um, him play. Um, I could actually watch him play the server 
as I was playing the server, and it was it was this neat little out of body experience. If I went to his house, I could watch myself walk around, and so um, I thought it would be kind of be neat because a lot of times when you watch a streamer, you only see them, and they've got their friends dancing around, and like some of the really good senior streamers. Um, but, uh, Russian Badger, the Russian Badger, I think. I, I watch him because he's funny. Some of the really good streamers take stream pieces from their friends, you know, the, their friends' viewpoint, and they hash them together to make, like, a really neat, um, a really neat, um, combination. And so I thought it would be neat if, um, you know, if, if, if you're a streamer, I don't know. But if you're not, that's fine, too. Um, but uh, I think it would be neat is if it was possible that whenever it was streamed, you know, that way everyone could see the, the different play styles and what we both um, consider... Um, whoops. Like, just for instance, if, if you considered research items important, so... If you stopped mining to get research items, and I ignore them, and, and so people can see the difference. I continue mining and I ignore them, and like my friend who I played this game with a long time ago, he would go running into the distance to get research items. Like, it was just, he was, he was just obsessed with them, and so, um... You know, but that's a completely different playstyle than my own. I just kind of ignore them and until I need them for something. Okay, I think I'm gonna move this out a little bit more like that. And he didn't. He just went. He would run into the into the distance to get them because he just thought they were so neat. Gotcha. This game is uh, fun to play multiplayer, too. Um, don't get me wrong. I, I did... Uh, we did have a lot of um, fun on it, but of course... Uh, um, but it was... It was... The, the main issue was that uh, it would disconnect us thinking that thinking that, um, hold on, I'll get there. <laughs> oh, it would disconnect us on landing, when we were landing the shuttle. Yeah, yeah, and everyone plays different, and, and so I think, uh, I think that's neat to see, to celebrate that, that difference in play, and allowing people who are watching to actually watch multiple different you know, and so if they if they ended up liking somebody else's um, way of playing better than my own, they could switch to that person's, you know, stream to see it. They don't, they're not forced um, to see my way. Let's see, so we got that. Yeah. game is fun, uh, fun multiplayer. I did, I did enjoy it. But then we'd, it would disconnect me, um, usually me, because at that time I had a crappier computer than I do now. Usually it would me, it would disconnect me, and then it would, when I joined back in, it would act like I was a new person. So I, we would lose the shuttle. If I hadn't landed the shuttle by the time it disconnected me, we would lose the shuttle. And, um, after losing three small shuttles and two medium shuttles, uh, we just, we said we'll come back when the game works. And, uh, I have not gotten to the point in the other, um, okay, so clearly I need more resin. I have not gotten in the point in the other multiplayer game 
where we are using shuttles. So we'll have to see if um, it does it again. And if it does it again, I just, that's just that. If there's no fix for it, that, that was a problem that was years ago. Now, somebody on their Discord said that they might have fixed it because they didn't have that problem, so... said my computer's crap. Uh oh. So what's their 89 is saying by followers, primes, and viewers? Um what we're gonna do with that I say uh say ban <laughs> I don't yeah I don't if I am that was uh, so that was either a person who is literally selling viewers primes and something or another in other words how to increase your channel include increase viewers to your channel or, more than likely, it was a spam bot trying to get your money. And so, uh, we're just going to ban that. And that's how we're going to solve that problem. <laughs> that was, uh... That was that. That's, that's frustrating, too. That's the, well, I should have said, the answer to your question is that's the way the world is. That's what that was. <laughs> like, there was a comedy skit where the people said, there are real people being paid to make, to make, um, what was the, the, the joke? They were talking about Beefer Day. And he, then they said, what is B for day? And he said, there are real people being paid money to to um, get something trending. To get B for day trending by corporations or whatever. It's supposed to be like Saturday, only it's a corporation that makes beef. And, they, and he said, that's the state of the world we live in. And that, that nothing has, nothing rings truer than that. Companies will actually pay you money to pretend to be excited about something. Yeah. I, you know, I'm old, so I shake my walker at the world and what it has become. <laughs> uh, but, uh, yeah, that's exactly what happens. That's legitimately exactly what happens. Okay, so we are going to go down and we're going to get as much aluminum as we can. I'm actually going to bring our... Yeah, aluminum. What do I need for... Give me a second. Large resource canister. Buggy. Large rover seat. There's a medium rover. Oh, these are mediums. Whoops. Did I already get the tractor last time? Oh, there's the tractor. I can get the tractor for a thousand. But I can't get the trailer. Well, I'll get the tractor. And then... Don't have enough for the trailer yet. What's what's our next mission we're on? Not too shy to stream. No, that's fine. Um... Oh, so wait. Do you want our smalty playing not to be on stream? Oxygen tank, glow stick, power cells, dynamite. Ooh. We're gonna do that because, yeah, we can keep it off of stream. If you don't want me to be streaming our game, um, you'd let me know now. <laughs> dynamite. Ooh, those things are expensive. Oxygen tank costs 2000 Oh, okay. All right. All right, but you just won't be streaming yourself. 
Oh, there was my... Okay. So we're doing this. I feel like I should actually grab a bunch of canisters. Excuse me. Um, because I feel like... You know what? Yeah, I'm going to grab canisters. Um, I'm going to do one more thing. I'm going to do one more thing. I'm going to grab a bunch of canisters. And then uh, when we go down there, I'm going to fill up the canisters one more time. And then... Uh, Whoa! Holy moly, he surfs far. Do this one more time, and I'm gonna get some of the exotic. I'm just gonna get some quartz and graphite and things like that, just to say I did. Oh, so, okay, um, you can put them in a buggy, which is, um, um, oh, what the heck is that? Oh, that's it, okay. You can put them either in a buggy, or you can actually put them on rovers. And the rovers you start out with are those small ones, and they don't have built-in batteries. But, um... Oh, what do you build rover seeds? I'm sorry, the small printer. The small printer can build the rover seeds. The rovers and everything else are built in the medium printer, but the small printer is what makes the seeds. I'm gonna get, um, I can't afford, I can't afford. Oh, I can get, uh, I'm to make one, though. Seriously? Hello? Thank you. That was weird, that didn't yeah, so the small makes them, medium makes everything they go with. I'm going to come over here and keep working on this one. some reason. I guess it just feels... It feels tedious a lot of the times to me is to go through mine shafts and whatever. It just And what's funny is, especially when you're gonna go down there for just, oh, I need some more, you know, iron. Oh, here's some more iron. And then you look up and there's a mine shaft that goes on for the next half mile. And you're like, oh, terrific. I guess I'll be doing this today for the rest of the time I'm playing. Searching tunnel after tunnel after tunnel for buried treasure. Like, it just feels... It feels um, like it's taking up an awful lot of time. Um, in this game, I actually do, I I actually kind of like I like the fact that it's um, it's cavernous enough where it doesn't feel like it's closing in on you. look around this does not look claustrophobic even though I'm underneath some of the areas that I dug out I mean it's 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 big I think we're done. Yep. okay so that was our last little digging trip for a little while I think I'm gonna make just a couple of um, of each of the other resources excuse me each of the other resources uh, there. But first, I'm going to stop and take a munch break. Hmm. So, we're going to do eight organic. We're going to start with. Actually, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this because. Come over here. I'm just going to get eight of each. Uh, eight of what I can. I'm not going to. I'm not going to 
get eight graphene, eight whatever, but I'm just gonna get a one load of what I can. Really, those two things. There's only two things going, and uh, <laughs> I need more batteries. But for that, I need zinc. That's funny, you can't go inside from the back. That just seems like kind of a weird distinction that you have to wait until you're... See that? In range of the door opening for you to come in. Here, big boy. Eh, see, as soon as you have something you're doing, every cat in the room wants to be with you. Stop. Stop, 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 stop. Okay, you know what? Internet famous. <laughs> Mr. Can Cans. Yeah, now he's, he's sniffing for my food. That's what you saw. aggressively rubs his face into my knuckles. <laughs> it's so strange. Okay. I don't know why it's putting clay on that side, too. I've got... Oh, where's my second one? Okay. Uh, Cannon! After the uh, camera company. So the first little cat that I saw that, uh, that I showed just for a brief moment. That was Felix. And then this is Canon. C-A-N-O-N. Ports. Felix and Pepita. Or Pippi. But uh, I doubt you'll ever see Pippi. She doesn't really come up here. Yeah, these are the two male cats. Um, and the two male cats are very affectionate. I know <laughs> it looked like it was like, what are you doing? But uh, the two male cats are very affectionate. They're like having little lap dogs. But this one is stubborn as heck, too. I will tell you, they are stubborn as heck. This one in particular, he's stubborn. And it, he looks like he's just being lovey-dovey, but he's slowly creeping his way closer to my lap. And that is his end game. Now he's going to start rubbing things on my whatever. Like, you notice that he's a half an inch. He's a full three inches off of that cat bed. <laughs> <laughs> now he's closer. Ooh, a buggy and a tractor. Graphite. What's the other one? Oh, ammonium. Yeah, I'll get, uh, I'll get ammonium later. Yeah, the buggies are nice for exploration because they're fast, but the tractors are really where it's at when you, when you look at a uh, planet. 
after you've after you've buzzed around. I can't wait to get the VTOL. But that is going to be far away now. <laughs> oh, you live on a farm. Oh, you, do you have a bunch of animals? Oh, you know what? Let me pick one of these. Oh, this is three. Let me pick one of these. And then, uh, I'm gonna see how much that gives. You have, like, a... Wow! You, you, would you live on an industrial farm? <laughs> like... And, and two houses. <laughs> okay, so that gives 60s. No, just... Just an old one. Oh. Oh, yeah. Um, farmers, uh... A lot of the farmers... Two house dogs. Oh, okay. Okay, so... These actually provide more research. So I think I'm going to move... Wait, can I make another one? I'm gonna move a thing within range. And that bush doesn't have this, and it'll be able to grab three. Oh, two house, two house dogs, five dogs. Oh, five outside dogs, and two house dogs. Crap, I don't want. Crap, I do not want that. didn't fall loose. At least this is flat now. Ah! Oh, and you have four siblings. I'm surprised you're shy with that many people. Most of the time having siblings, um, helps that. Oh, hey, Zenos! Yep, kitty cam. That's exactly what that is, too. <laughs> making, making canon, uh... This is Zenos. He's, um... I introduced him, I think, last time, but he's, uh, one of the other arbiters on the server who helps run the server. Yep, a kitty cam. <laughs> uh, I think what we're gonna do... I'm gonna put this over here. I'm gonna bring it to play, because I do want the, um... Xenos, you don't stream, do you? Oh, you used to. PC isn't good for it now, yeah. I actually, uh, what I did is I gave... Gave, um... See, here he is, Cannon. You're like a foot off of your little thing. I made for you so that you could leave me be. Come on, stubborn. Um, what was I gonna say? I ended up giving, um, in order to get a better computer, the computer I have is actually pretty high end, except we can't get our hands on a GPU, because, of course, that's impossible. Excuse me. In order to get my, get a better computer, I, um, I kept. Yeah. I need to build it for you. Yes, uh, you know, I know you know that, but I was building up to that. <laughs> I, was gonna t I was gonna, um, I was gonna tell people, like, if you have someone you can trust, and that's very important, if you have someone you can trust to hold money for you, like, um, After Dark, actually builds computers so I just sent him move that over here. I just sent him um, money and he uh, he built he built the computer for me and so I sent him about $50 a paycheck it doesn't take much it really doesn't I sent him about $50 a paycheck 
and then after we got to about 1500 uh, then he built me it and now I have a computer that's actually strong enough my last computer I wanted to do this with but it there is no way that the sucker would crash and burn before it ever let me stream anything whenever I tried it would just crash so um yeah and Xenos I'm also in discord the talk channel but uh that's up to you if you're Oh, you're just listening? <laughs> you're just you're just listening to me in real time talk and then watching <laughs> watching it. Oh, you just me Oh, okay. And then watching uh watching the uh <laughs> Ah, yes. Our arbiters are all very funny. <laughs> Okay, so I need to figure out what is that in the distance that looks like a wreck. So let me go that way. And actually, I'm going to go straight that way. I am going to dig up some of this, though. Can I get the trailer? Yeah, that's the one thing you can... You definitely, with the with the tractor part, you need the trailer. And so I'm going to... I'm gonna... That was... Yeah, there we go. Well, that was not what I wanted to do. That's more what I wanted to do. up there so I'm going to take a bunch of that home too. I just knew that I might run out of tethers. Oh, that was, oh, that was quick. I thought that was going to be a thicker wall. Give me more trouble. And it was. Yeah, quartz. Okay, and I'm going to correct this. tethers. <laughs> and I get like four, but, um... Oh, holy crap, it's directly above me. I never look up. Do you see all this that I would have missed? Had it not led me to where the quartz is? Like, six, and actually I want a backpack full because I want to turn a bunch of this into glass. That's probably good enough. Alright, I want to turn a bunch of this into glass. So I'm going to fill up the quartz storage. Um, we're doing this a little bit slower and more methodical than uh, my previous playthrough. But a uh, little bit less focus on getting from planet to planet. Oh, Mr. Tired. Oh, Mr. So Tired. Oh, Mr. Tired Face. But, um, yeah. I think we can safely burn about three of these. What the heck is that? And then, uh, one third of the way, oh, to getting a trailer? Yeah. There we go, I'm gonna fill that up. And then this will make glass. See, that's just continuing to put those in there. I just love that. Xenos, do you have... Oh, no, you don't have this game. I forgot. You were thinking about getting it. Um, what I'll tell you is... Um, what? So, I literally... 
This is craziness, too. Look at this. Whoa. You can get far doing that little surfing thing. Um, what the mod told me when I when I complained about the problem that I was having, what the mod told me was save frequently. Why are you being bumped around? I don't like that. What the mod told me was save frequently <laughs> and back up. Most importantly, they, she said back up your saves. How is this not going the right direction? Didn't I look and see that I was directly going towards something? What am I... Am I out of my mind here? Oh, was I just going towards an opening in general? Yep, that's what I was doing. So, that's uh, what we're going to do here. Um, yeah, this is just an opening, but I see something sticking out of the ground there. Oh, this is an opening towards the next level down, which is zinc. That's important. And so is this just discarded crap here. <laughs> well, that's just discarded crap. Okay. Oh, I think I see it. me flatten the earth. Yeah, just bury the discarded crap. I don't even care about it right now. What else am I seeing? Is that resin or is that something else? Oh yeah, that's resin. Okay. But there is my... Um, there is my aluminum. Move back a little before I do that. Pop coral. Speaking of, I'm glad you reminded me because I myself have to look. Uh... I have to look for the trailer, and I'm gonna get the trailer. And then after that, I'm going to hold off and I'm going to get all the stuff I need for that little RTG. Because, um... Oops. Because that, the first RTG is very important. Then we're going to come back and get more. It's on the worst compound van. Give me one. Oh my god, I hate it when that happens. <laughs> I freaking hate it when that happens. Whoops, I forgot. That's. Yeah. I freaking hate it when that happens. Um, okay, that's up. How much? Let me grab one of these. Oh, I can't. When you get your first RTG, um, why it's so important, why that's so important is, when you get your first RTG, that gives you the capability of, I don't know why I did that, um, from then on, when you find those power, those exo cat, um, exo research caches or whatever they're called officially, when you get, um, when you find the ones that say refill internal power, oh, that's right, I just got believe that. Refill internal power to um, unlock, you can do that now. It'll take, it'll take a long time because you're, um, you're producing so little 
but you can do that, and that's why it's that important. Let me see. There's just all kinds of crap happening in my mission log, so let me let me take a look at that. What do I get for taking a bite? Okay, 500 bites. Wonderful. Smelteringly hot. A medium storage. Okay. Now we got arm yourself. Oh, you're getting within licking range. I know you. trailer when I print a tractor. Find and use research samples. I just don't even know what the heck they're talking about. Okay. I apparently got the arm myself. <laughs> just by... Apparently it thought that I printed that arm. Two-thirds of the way. Very nice. Um, stuffed storage. Print and fill a medium canister. Okay. I need to uh, get serious about this now. Oxy whoops. Oxygen tank. Okay. Alright, so here's my medium storage. We're all weird too, don't forget that. That's funny. Everybody's everybody's weird in their own little way. Um, yeah, and I do wanna, I do wanna get my other. Um, uh, auto arm. Oh, 1500, I thought I got that already. Oh well. Okay, let's go back down. Grip my aluminum. this way. Oh, that's right. I was actually gonna take one of those to see if it'd be better to actually move the research thing down. Whoa! Let's not do that! See if it'd be actually worth it to move a research thing down here if one of these give more. Oh, and I have to check and see whether or not the other uh, came back. Because that might not come back. But aluminum is usually very scarce, annoyingly enough. So I do definitely want to. I do want to gather it. Uh... It's not scarce this time. Holy crap! I've never seen a vein this big. Oh no, I'm starting to kick it out. <laughs> I've never seen a vein this big. Okay. Well then. I think, uh... I think that's... That's a yee-haw for me. Ah, uh, you know what makes good curtains? A blanket or sheets? Tacked. <laughs> Tacked to just above your window. I do that, and I'll tell you what, it's beautiful. I'm, I'm actually in a basement room right now, and it's nighttime, but... Um, I'm in a basement room, and the people who were here before me shoved a cutie orange box um, in the window... No, no, uh, tact, uh, T A C K. Or T K S. You know, help me with that one. How do you spell tack? Tack? Tack. You know, like tax? 
not tax like taking money, but tax like the sharp things you stab. It's T A C K. T A C K. Okay. 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 Um. Whoops. Yeah. One more. Oh, we don't have any of those. Um. You don't have any tax on a farm, really. I feel like that would be a pretty, uh, pretty common thing to use. I use a bunch of them, but that gives 150. Did that grow its piece back, or is that only? Oh, good. I think that did. Yeah. So this grew its piece back, and that gives 100. Right? Was that 100? Oh, nails and pins. Well, there you go. Put a, put two small nails in. Um, above the. I usually do above the wood that surrounds the the window. Otherwise, your parents get all busy. Oh, we get angry. Well, ask him how to do it. <laughs> like, ask him how to figure it out. Then he's gonna get angry. I mean, tell him that it's it's clearly an issue. What's he knows? Talking to myself. Oh, okay. Being stupid. Wait, I never actually got that research. Okay. We need to do something. I'm gonna... Oh, what we need to do is bring home a couple big researches. That's what we need to do. Um, you know, I'm gonna go back up there and I'm gonna, I'm gonna see what it'll take to print off the tractor. Come on, up we go. And then I'm gonna look at moving. Did I get any extenders? This playthrough, uh, I got a couple packagers, which I'm gonna take those. I thought I got extenders, but apparently not. Usually I run into debris that has those on it, but not this time apparently not. Um, let me see what it takes to build the tractor. Wait, I thought the tractor was built... Oh, I'm so sorry. Apparently the tractor and their trailers are built through the small printer. I thought it was built through... Um, the big printer. I apologize. I did not uh, realize that till now. Oh, but ding ding to you too. and print a packager. Okay. Uh, that can go away. This is, uh, this is what we need. Unlock and print a packager. Small generator. I thought I had a packager. Yeah, there's, oh no, I don't have a packager yet. Boy, they're needy. Oh, a packager, right there. A thousand. Okay, we're gonna unlock those. That's two thousand. Dynamite. What am I supposed to be researching here? Um, to parts unknown. Stuff in storage. Okay. Power cells, glow sticks, dynamite, and oxygen tanks. Glow sticks. Glow 
shredder. Now we can start shredding things for no reason because I don't even have the dang, <laughs> the dang, uh, um, thing unlocked. <laughs> I don't have the dang thing unlocked. Okay, so over here, I'm actually going to put the shredder up over here. Oh, you figured it out. Oh, good. Good, good, good. And then I'm going to come back with, uh... Well, it's kind of useless to just sit there. Just like that. I'm going to come back with some large research items. this before, but it's hysterical how every time you miss, he points at the ground and makes a hoo-hoo noise. <laughs> okay. So. What does it take to make a work light? Uh, oh, you know what? And since we now have a good supply of aluminum, I can make... Oh, crap. I never did unlock that. Damn it. QT printer. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna do this instead. That's gotta be the first page. Oh, there's the word light. Okay. Well, that needs copper. Dog gun. Well, that light needs tungsten. Holy crap. Okay. Light needs copper because that is something I'm gonna have to bring with me because I know there's copper up here because my eyes have been uh, um, sucking. <laughs> my eyes have just sucked. Oh, 
looks like I actually hit a vein like you did. Just enough copper to make me hate life. Oh, what did I just see? Oh, that's resin. No one cares about that. <laughs> oh, and that's okay. Nothing. No, no more copper up here, really. Oh, there's copper. By the way, this is why we bring our drill mod. I've got to get up here and get as much copper as I can. Oh, seriously. We should probably drop some tethers here. Oh, I was hoping he'd do his little slidey thing he loves to do every 20 seconds. organic. Well, that was all the copper in the world. Thank you for playing. <laughs> Should actually probably come back with some uh, Oh there's well, here we go with sampling. Okay. Should come back with some uh... Yeah, that's okay, I'll just keep thinking of it. <laughs> with a quick thing of aluminum so that I can open that research thing because that's going to be a pretty big one. So, <coughs> excuse me. So uh, I'm definitely going to want to do that. I think it's going to be a pretty big one. It could just be something ridiculously tiny too. Ooh, look at that. fall into that hole every time I come down here. I 
forgot. You can't just walk through. <laughs> you can't just walk through those. You have to actually run into those. Okay. Take this crap. Point. Um. That is so sad. That's one of the first level freaking... First level freaking uh, research things. That is such a waste of my time. <laughs> oh well. I am bringing this with me. I know this seems like... Um, annoying, but uh, when we get a bigger shredder, when we get an extra large shredder, we can actually shred that, so. Okay. I'm gonna bring this over here. I'm going to see... Ooh, 1300, actually. That's not a waste of my time. That's, um... That's really good, actually. Okay, I'm gonna take the tethers off, Take a copper, and I'm going to make work lights. Work lights require power initially, but they don't drain it. So, um, all right. I have 800 bytes, which is not nearly enough to get anything we need to. Either that or dynamite. But, um, what I do is I take one of these tiny ones, and then I can put it on the front. And then, uh, usually that's enough to, uh, keep it going because the wind kicks on, um, the wind kicks on, uh, usually enough to, um, here in a second. Boom. See? Wind kicks on, and there you go. And what we're gonna do is, uh, drive the train this direction a little bit farther than I was able to walk. I'm gonna grab some of these research items like this one. And as long as you have some way to provide power, you'll never actually run out of power on this. Even if you run completely out, oh, and this one I'm just carrying on my back, you could just wait. And it provides oxygen, so you can just, you can just wait, and uh, you will eventually be back on the road again. On the road again! I'm going to grab as many of these as I can. point in time I don't think we're gonna go scrap hunting just yet because I don't even have enough to uh, to um, make the transport or the um, trade post so what we are gonna do is I'm gonna stop here and I'm gonna pick up the other packages that lie on the ground these are very I'm glad they um, chose to include include those with some of these on, on Silva or whatever because that does make your your journey a lot easier. Look at how flat this terrain is. I like this terrain because it's just this casual driving terrain and you can see 
immense distances. Oh, what is that? Good, good, good. Let's see what we got here. Is that a research? Or is that another uh, thruster? Doopy 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 doo. I always get excited when I see these. What has it got? It's got two solid fuel jump jets, which... Look at all this. Okay, it's got a oh, backpack full. A big backpack full. Yeah, I we're just gonna get rid of that. Small canister. Ammonium, there's scrap, ceramic, eh. Zinc. I need that indeed. Um, okay, so we're gonna go back here. And we are going to um, drop a couple of these things off. I'm hanging on to those because you can actually um, grind those. So they, they do actually serve a purpose. I'm definitely taking the ammonium with me. Um, this is not what I expected to be doing with this thing. <laughs> I didn't expect to be... Uh, Oh, what was that? Small battery, okay. I didn't expect to be using this to transport things like that, so I thought that I was going to transport another, uh... Um, crap. Oh, I thought I was stuck in there. Um, I'm gonna try to get scrap. Actually, I can take the ceramic and the small canister. There you go. Somebody, uh, that was, I agree, following. Hello, hello. <laughs> and there's the rear as well. Hello. <laughs> oh, I thank you. Iridia. Now we love Scarp. <laughs> oh, thank you very much. <laughs> Iridia is now following. And, um, um, these are some of the, um, people that I met a long time ago on, uh, when they came to Fields of Zen. And now they will almost immediately turn this chat into something totally inappropriate, I'm sure. <laughs> Don't. Please, please, FM, don't, don't just start swearing in the Twitch chat. <laughs> That's so negative. No, no, I know y'all. <laughs> okay, you need to stop clawing me in the hand. Be a big puff boy. PG-13 in here. <laughs> um, please. Only, only if we're playing PG games. If, um... Perhaps. Nothing much. If we were playing, um... Yeah, this is, um, Astroneer. Yeah, this is Astroneer, so it's, uh... Bye! So it's, um... It's, it's, how would I even, how am I seeing which other? Yeah, how would I even describe it? It's, it's like space Minecraft, kind of, like it's a, yeah, no, don't, don't worry, we've already talked about his name. <laughs> He's going to be changing it so that he can stream with me on a multiplayer world. You 
know why. Because because the one thing our server is very much about it's um pg 13 ness don't don't hashtag that you guys are coming and just ruin everything for the insults, I guess. But, uh, hey, hey, big boys. I do appreciate you guys, uh, showing up. And, uh, stay for the trick. Ah, uh, kid. Must you make me sad? All right, we are. Uh... Yes. Oh, um. So if you haven't seen it, let's go, Cat Wu. <laughs> um, if you have. So what's neat about this game? It's got some of the best terraforming I've ever seen, and not just because, like, when you terraform, you see all those geometric angles. Well, here's the best part. You can grab an angle with your terraformer and you can make that the angle you want. So we can go straight up with this if we want to, or we can go off to the side in that direction. And you see how that's slightly angled. It is craziness. Yeah. So, but that's very important. Because, like, see this cavern. It's it's incredibly steep. And, um... Oh, oh, and I didn't even get into the fact that... You see all these different colors? Okay, and there's, like, hundreds of different colors. You can actually... There's a mod. One of these mods that you can put on your gun to sample colors. So you can actually take this orange if you like it with you, and you can paint the ground orange. But, so you see this cavernous hole in the ground. What I can do is I am actually, hold on, I'm going to back, back my vehicle up so that I can uh, still breathe while I'm doing this. Um, the one thing about this game that's kind of survival is if I get out of range of the tether... You see how it's no longer attached to me? That oxygen um, bar will start to go down. And then I have to get either there or my base. I've got a base that I'll be returning to in a second. But, so you see this, this cavern. What I'm going to do is start back here. Cat, you need to stop licking me. You need to stop licking me. Um, and then I can go down and I can say, you know what, I like... I like that angle. And I can do this. And then I can continue to take that angle, that same angle. Let me burrow that so we can see it a little bit better. Take that angle, and we can just keep going. And then, all of a sudden, I'm able to go down into a cavern that used to be straight down just like that here's the cavern and I'm able to make a ramp to go into it like that it's um, it's really it is some of the best terraforming I've ever seen in a game before if you want to go up you can switch your terraformer and guess what here we go just like that straight up I'm just on. <laughs> Switch the terraformer back and down we go. And back down to ground level. God scared of you. <laughs> oh, um. I'm glad you guys here we were we were discussing, um. There's another one of those. Okay, 
so I need one more research item. Oh, more copper. Oh, I gotta get that. Um, look at how he walks. This is how he normally walks. So we get his hoodie and all that other stuff. But, uh, <laughs> you just can't see it because of the way he's got his backpack on. Um, let me swing around. I've gotta get that copper. Oof. That got run into. Oh. Um, that is perfect, right there. I need that copper. What do we have? We don't have any more space on this dang thing. Makes me sad, because I do actually need copper, so I think I'm going to get rid of the ceramic. Um, This is copper. Normally, this harvest is very slow, but I've got a drill mod that I can put on here and it will harvest very quickly. Good. There's my magic kite. Because, yeah, I need to. I need to. Don't do that. I was hoping I could find one more research item. Let me see if there's a research item at the top of the hill. And then in this game, the only thing you really have to worry about is like plants. There's a couple, there are hazardous plants and they, some of them spit things at you and others that like run right into the thing. And others, um, bounce you. Those are bounce vines. But as long as you're in your vehicle, your, your vehicle is immune to all of that. So you don't have to worry about it. And I have a work light in front because I can't freaking see because I'm old. Is a research item up there? No. Everywhere. I'm just driving my little train. Ooh. See, here's more copper. Okay. Um. Let's see. Scrap ammonium. Really, these jump jets are the thing that's gonna have to go. And jump jets sound good. But I'll I'll put on the solid fuel jump jets. And that's how far they go. And you can actually, if you use them, you can go high enough to hurt yourself, but they're virtually useless otherwise. Let me slide on down. Back here. And I was only hanging on to them so I could uh, grind them up, but clearly, um, but uh, copper is more important to me than uh, scrap at this moment. So. So. so, how have you guys been? I haven't. Uh, I haven't had a chance to be on WAP. 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 Whoops. Down that goes. In a, uh... In a while, like, I've seen, uh... I've seen some postings, but, uh... Not many. Oh, I pulled off a malachite to put a malachite on. That's funny. Okay, we are headed home. I agree, is FM. Who is Peridia and Sereer? Or 
pretty as Tommy. Okay. Hi, Tommy. I haven't seen you. Whoa, I must just fell down that huge hole. Oh, and there's our last research item. You guys will see what the research item... Um, my YouTube channel, by the way, has um, all of the... My previous... Um, I had a crook save file, so I had to restart. But um, if you guys want to listen to me talk for seven hours... <laughs> you can go on my YouTube channel. And it has the previous... Uh, <laughs> previous... Um, Oh, okay. That's behind us. All of my previous time spent on this game. Yeah, it hasn't been too bad. I saw, um, FM that you're actually still part of the FOZ channel. Or you joined. Something like that. his computer so that we can uh, that's power, so that we can update uh, the Minecraft server. Okay, um, if I didn't have this HUD, I would be lost. But I absolutely have no space for my damn house. Oh, there it is. I think I've gone around the entire planet. Um, so the rundown is this game you have you have seven planets and you jump from planet to planet getting resources. Some resources are only available on certain planets. Um, and there's some underlying story but I'm not exactly sure which one it is. Here we come from my house. Ooh. Wait, let me see, uh, let me detour, I'm gonna see if I can, does this refill? Refill, good, I can do that. I think, uh, yeah, there's where the, let me just wait for the wind to blow. And uh, so you jump from planet to planet. This is the starting planet um, after I had to restart. Mm. And so... And you have a research... It's not really a tree. You bring up your research and you say, okay, so like oxygen tanks, which is for one of the missions, cost 2,000. And right now I have 2,400 bytes. I'm going to research that because um, the mission requires it. And then I'll get dynamite. That'll be the next thing. Oh, here we go. Say it's filling the power bar with the wind. That opens. And this is another one of these small ones. Um, which is still... Still important. What's it more important than? Oh, you know what? It's more important than one scrap. Because when you put these in a research center, they actually give you quite a bit of uh, research. And that's... Uh, where did my base go? Oh, does it only show up when you bring up the... Oh, no. I just can't see it because... Uh, Thank you. 
I was sure it was closer than this. Oh, is that a working medium solar? It is. Okay. So, <laughs> that is a pretty big find. Um, I'm going to get rid of the boost mod and the soil. Pick both of those up. And we're going to stick that on there. Because um, that's a pretty decent find. Um, all these research items, I'm actually going to scan that one. So that I can pick up this little solar panel too. Alright, absolutely got to get home before I find more of this crap. <laughs> Oh, uh, by the way, whenever I stream, I'm also in um, the Fields of Zen general channel. So um, you can always join and we can chit chat. you want to talk in Discord. I'm always, uh, I'm always up to talk. I am not, um, I like, I'm not against having people have conversations <laughs> in our, over my stream. All right, you're coming back to base, which you can tell with all of the signs. Oof, hit that rock pretty hard. Um, Go around all of this. I think I'm gonna go around the base. Okay. We are going to take this and we're gonna put you right on there. And that you can see it filling that battery like a crazy. Um, actually, I'm going to keep that on there. And then we're going to put that there. Oops. Oops. That's not good. Okay, so this is my base. You start with a shelter and a landing pad. And the landing pad, I'm going to put that there. And the landing pad um, doubles as a mission hub where you can actually get things after you complete missions. So I got the here we go sampling and that uh, gives me three sets of tethers which are the things you see lying about that are supposed to provide oxygen why is this not hooked up yeah let's not do that there we go now it's hooked up and then um so that's a tether and then what's this next one buggy. Um, I don't need a buggy on this planet. I'll need a buggy on the next one. So, um, first and foremost, I'm going to come over here. I'm going to make some more copper. I'm going to get another work light for myself. That is dynamite you're looking at. And it's used for uh, blowing up different things. Um, different things on, like on the map when you saw a little green dot here. That's an exo cache, and you blow those up, and you get like some end game uh, end game things. All right, you get like an. Um, chips that help you get end game uh, items. Alright, we're gonna research that. That gives, what, 1300. I'm gonna grab those because those are definitely needed. I was glad to get those. Alright, I'm gonna put you here and you here. And then these are. And then they have auto arms, which I just recently found out. Auto arms can pluck these research samples 
from the bushes would regrow them. I didn't realize they regrew them. And they can automatically put it inside your research chamber. So it's just constantly feeding me um, research. A little bit of research at a time. Not much, but uh, it's steady. And then these are all research items that I've bundled so it was easier for me to pick up. And uh, I'm actually going to use this zinc to make a small battery. Because we need more... Uh, we need more battery. And I'm going to use... I have to make a work light so that I can freaking see what I'm doing at the time. Wow, that's a huge difference, isn't it? All right, um, we've got our pile of research items. So I think we got 1,400, and we're getting 204 uh, something or another. are going to cut it for today um, because I am going to need to go to bed sometime soon. I'm going to jump in here. That saves the game. Um, I'm actually going to bring... You know what? I haven't actually gone past that way. Yeah, I haven't gone past that direction very far, so I'm going to leave that right there and we are going to... Uh, Thank you everybody for watching. Save and quit the main menu. Uh, yes, I'm sure. And now SP stream duplicate. Enter name. SP stream two. Um, no, not two. Backup. Backup to <laughs> confirm. <laughs> Good God. Alright, just making sure that we don't lose this all like we did before. <laughs> Alright, and you guys have yourself a great day, and thank you for joining me. Geograss, I love it.